Jesus Christ according to John. Then Jesus cried aloud, whoever believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees him, who sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my word has a judge. On the last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as judge. For I have not spoken on my own, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When I was uh, in between college and seminary, I uh, was struggling with direction and where I would go and what I would do. And in one of those struggles, I uh, took a uh, philosophy course on Old Testament scripture. The professor was a colleague of my father's. This was where my dad was teaching. I was home at the time. And I remember vividly hearing uh, a man who was definitely and clearly a scholar of scripture, but also a student of philosophy. So as he was reading scripture, which I had always just received, because I was a good Episcopalian kid, you know, the lectionary sheet was there in the pew every Sunday. I, I read it every Sunday. I went to Sunday school. Scripture was always there in front of me, but I never actually picked up a shovel and started to dig in that garden. And with his teachings, I started to begin to do the thing that I probably should have done my whole life, but I never really had the tools to do. I began to mine the scripture. I was looking for meaning in it. And that was a great gift to me. Not only did it give me some of the tools I was going to need later in seminary and in the pulpit, but also it opened up a way of looking at scripture in which I was trying to do more than just gain some knowledge. I was trying to find myself in those words, trying to find a way to be, a way to understand, a way to comprehend. Who is God? And what is this marvelous life we've been given in which we are trying to figure out what God intends, not only for us in this life, but through us for the world. And I appreciate these days when we remember the martyrs like Justin, who spent a great deal of their time building bridges between the philosophers of the day, those who held the reins of knowledge in his culture with this breakout new understanding of what we are to be about in life as we seek to follow God in Christ. A real gift. Because what it challenges us to, as the same way my philosophy professor challenged me to do when I was taking that course in between college and seminary was, it's all one thing to hear the words, but what is it like not only to live them, but to find meaning in them? And this takes time and it takes care. It takes passion. It takes interest and it takes curiosity. And these are the tools we bring to this walk. I was asked a couple of weeks ago what, I what it is I like about being an Episcopalian. And I said unequivocally, that one of the things I enjoy about it is that not only we are encouraged, but we are expected to have an opening and inquiring mind. It's not just enough to say, I believe in Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. You got to figure out what that means. <laughs> There's work involved. I can't just sit back on it. I have to lean into it. Justin was one who leaned into it. Unfortunately for him, it ended at the edge of a sword. But in that context, even in his martyrdom, he gave inspiration to countless generations to follow, where he would not only stand for his faith and fall for it, but he would also live with the integrity that he needed in order, having found meaning in Christ, would not surrender that meaning, even to the pressure of violence. We live in that great gift of his, which is to walk freely before God in Christ, to proclaim our faith in the good news and to relate to others the blessing that it is to walk with Jesus as companion, as guide, as teacher, as one who helps us find meaning. Meaning in scripture, meaning in life, meaning in God's intent for us 
and through us for the world. Amen.